important for you. And uh, I, I just, I'm sure I'm speaking for everybody in the room when I say you guys have just done an incredible job. And you've done that incredible job in an incredible short amount of time uh, between when we realized we couldn't do this in the real world and you guys built this amazing place for us to, to pull it off. So thanks, thanks for being Jeff. here and, uh, and take it away, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. I've done one thing right is uh, hire people a lot smarter than myself uh, around me. The team is just really fantastic, and, and I'm equally as blown away uh, by what they're able to pull off. So so thank you. And can I employ you to continue to drive the slides here? You John? betcha. Just let me right. know. Uh, right. Hang on. I'll get back to this. All right. There you go. All right. We'll go on to the next one. So first off, I, I covered this slide the other day for those who – so I'd be present on, on Tuesday, but I just wanted to show this graph really quickly that this is the explosion of users that we've seen the last two months in, in the Rubella Open Campus. It's been pretty insane. You can see our growth curve prior to COVID and then our growth curve after uh, COVID, and, and we'll probably double up again uh, this month. So it's it's been uh, insane. Uh, and why is that important? It's important for a couple of reasons. One, first off, we couldn't be in the position that we're in if it wasn't for EXP Realty. We're so appreciative of the feedback and the fact that you folks are here every day running this massive business through the platform uh, that we can, can quickly take that feedback and iterate so that we're getting recognized uh, in, the, in the industry. It's pretty awesome. We can go to the next slide. And we can't do it without the uh, Rubella team. So I'm just so blessed again to to have the team that that we have. They're super creative, super smart, uh, care so much about the user experience and, and how it's delivered. Uh, have great vision uh, in where they where they want to take this, and we're growing the team. So the other advantage of our business growing outside of EXP Realty is that we get to drop, double down, triple down our, on our investment. Uh, in the team to move the platform, you know, faster, that much more faster. Uh, so, so excited about the number of people we're, we're adding to the team uh, right now. We were about 25 uh, a couple of months ago. I think we're closer to 65. We still have a bunch more uh, positions open. So that's going to raise the tide for everyone, all of our clients across the board, including uh, EXP Realty. We're, we're hiring more senior developers, more artists, you name it. Uh, we're hiring them, and we're all going to, to benefit. And if we can go to the next slide, please. Um, before, uh, before kind of COVID, we haven't been that recognized in, in the industry. We're not, we haven't been great at marketing, to be honest. Uh, so while we know we've had a great platform out there compared to some of the competitors, the rest of the world hasn't really known, known about it. Uh, just within the last couple of months, respected third parties you know, in the space who, who know our competitors quite well did some independent research without our involvement, and they came back and found that we were the best platform uh, for, for conferences and in big events uh, on the enterprise side. Uh, and there's some big names on this list. So if we look at Alt Space VR, that's a Microsoft product. We see Mozilla Hubs. These are we're not competing against uh, you know little mom and pop uh, development shops uh, here and there. We're we're competing against big industry, and things are going fairly well. So again, really shout out uh, to the team. There's still a lot of work to do. Uh, things that are changing in in the broader ecosystem like 5G, better internet, better commodity hardware will allow us to continue to, to push the limits and, and scale things uh, and improve the, the platform. Go to the next slide, please. Um, so holy shoot, uh, we hit some big numbers uh, this week. We, we've hit record numbers that we've never hit before. Uh, we had session uh, I think Barbara Jean shared this with me. It might have even gotten higher. But 1,081 people uh, in an auditorium. Uh, I think our competitors su support about 50, uh, 50, 5, 0, you know, as a max. So on the front end, you might not see some changes, but we're doing a lot of things to the pipe in the background to support larger and, and larger numbers, both within a room as well as across the whole campus. 
Uh, so I think on Wednesday, we had close to over 2,000 people in the environment uh, at the same time. And wow, you know, the impact on community, to see the level of community that can happen uh, in EXP worlds, you know, quite similar to, to what happens when, when we get face to face together is, is quite inspiring. Uh, to see. And we know we need to continue to push those numbers uh, because we know you are all are going to keep growing the business. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep up uh, on our end. Go to the next slide, please. Uh, so yeah, the, the convention hall, um, I hope you've all had a chance to, to experience it. If you haven't, definitely uh, get there. Uh, but literally, the, the team put this together in, in less than two months. Uh, it was a heavy sprint, uh, lots of design meetings, a real team effort. Uh, just really proud of the team. Hope you're enjoying it. This is what we consider iteration one. It's only going to get better. Uh, and we want to think, you know, what things do we do that are one-to-one, -one, kind of replicate the real world? And then other ways, how can we do things in these types of environment that you actually can't do uh, in, in the real world. So that, those are some of the things that go through our head when, when we're designing and we'll continue to, to iterate, but quite happy with, with uh, this first pass here and I hope you're enjoying it uh, as well. I know I ran into a couple of colleagues who, who I really see and, and don't work too closely with because they're more on the, on the realty side, but I bumped into them there and it felt, again, it's very similar to, to the in-person conferences that, that we've been going to. If we move along, um, so what's been cool uh, in, in this uh, unfortunate time of, of this pandemic, we've also seen an explosion of, of EXP folks getting uh, EXP team suites. So team suites are private, uh, private areas within uh, EXP world uh, that are purchasable for $100 a month, and they've also just exploded. We've seen huge uptick in usage of the world. Uh, since the start of, of COVID, and it's a testament to the strength of the community uh, that EXP Realty is and uh, their willingness to be agile and, and pivot working remote. Uh, so it's been fantastic to see all the teams uh, using a team suite in, in continuing their, their, their business. Uh, and next slide. Um, so also, you know, we, we think about... Uh, accessibility of the technology and we think about supporting kind of older technology but also cutting edge uh, new technology so we'll continue to build out mobile application and the desktop application but we're also pushing really far ahead and you can actually today get into exp worlds uh, with a tethered headset so like something like the oculus uh, rift or the htc vive uh, these aren't the standalone devices we're still still aren't quite powerful enough to run the worlds. Um, so we want to build for those eventually, but right now you can get in here fully immersive, uh, which might have some inter interesting applications uh, going forward. Next slide. Uh, we also have, I just got corrected that I really shouldn't be calling it a support center because it's not just for support. But one thing that we've kind of all, always struggled with is keep, is keeping up with the XP's growth, right? So if we create an area with with five seats for support, pretty soon we need 10 and 15. So just like this auditorium, we can scale in and out. We're, we're creating uh, a system that a number of departments will be able to use to be really dynamic and agile as EXP continues to grow. And next slide, uh, really excited about this one coming uh, over the next couple of months. It's in kind of beta right now and a little buggy, but uh, imagine if I could be up on the big screen, you know, right now with with my face, with my live camera. I'd have to comb my hair, uh, of course. Um, <laughs> but the opportunity for the screen, so wherever there's kind of a screen, there'll be an option to put on a webcam as well as native screen share. So right now we're using a third-party tool called Crank Wheel. We're building a native uh, webcam uh, screen share tool as well uh, to make the user experience really clean. So we're really excited about this long time request. Still some work to do, uh, but uh, really excited by it. Uh, and this will next, be terrific, Mrs. Ready. Yeah, for sure. Man, that's excited. a game changer, man. That's All a right. game changer. 
All right. I love know it. this is Jay Nelson. I've been telling you that for man. I'm cold. <laughs> yes, I'm you have. I'm waiting for you to say it. Love you, bro. <laughs> Thanks for everything you're doing. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> I need to move along here because I want to make sure Gabe gets up here, but we're diversifying uh, the avatars uh, to, to really be aligned with the global uh, community that EXP is becoming and represent uh, multiple uh, cultures. Uh, so we're, we're working on those efforts going. Um, and here we are, Frame VR. Uh, so as an organization, we're really thinking about you know, the future of work and these immersive technologies and how they fit into collaboration, team improvement, productivity. And that sometimes means, you know, not just working on a single tool, but working on some different complementary tools. So we hired Gabe Baker here a little over a year ago now. And wow, he and his team have just been crushing this new tool that is uh, going to be quite powerful going forward. That's entirely on the web, no client download. So with that, Gabe, I'll turn it over to you. Hey, Alex, thanks for the thanks for the kind words there, and uh, really, really amazing just to just to be up on this stage here with uh, with you and John um, chat, chatting about Frame. Um, so uh, there'll be hey, <laughs> there'll be a little repeat. Uh, what, what was that? This is Mike Everhart. Love you, man. Oh, hey, Mike. We go way back. We do, we do. <laughs> um, there'll be a little repeat for those that were here a, a few days ago, but I'm going to try to keep that uh, keep that limited, and then there'll be a little bit more on kind of the technology um, side. So, you know, Frame overall, it's a it's a beta experimental product we're kind of incubating uh, here at Verbella, and it, it gives us the opportunity to to rapidly experiment with new features and new tech stacks and and new designs. The frame beta, it's, it's built really using fundamentally different technology than Verbella. It's created with open web standards rather than a game engine. Um, there's a new browser API called the WebXR API uh, that we're using for frame. And essentially, it just lets you create immersive stuff that runs right on a web browser. It can also render those experiences on VR headsets and also on browsers right from uh, mobile or Chromebook or desktop. Now, there, there are certainly some limitations to WebXR, specifically around the size and quality of the 3D environment and also the scale of the multi-user interaction, like the kind of interaction we're having right now with, with hundreds in a space or, or, or the thousands that Verbella now enables aren't yet possible. Uh, these are things that Core Verbella does particularly well, and they're getting a lot better at uh, really every week. So Frame right now is, is positioned more as a tool that's good for smaller meetings with no more than 20 people at this time. Um, it does have some interesting features. You can import 3D models, 360 photos, and you can even create immersive presentations that you can take an audience through. I remember in 2019, I gave John the, the pitch for Frame, and I did it inside Frame. Uh, by guiding him through an immersive presentation. Um, this sort of accessibility and, and content creation opens up interesting possibilities for, for realtors and, and the world at large. Um, you could possibly use it for lightweight online property tours or online meetings with clients that don't require a download or install. So a, a really quick update about where Frame is. We launched the beta a few months ago. We've had close to 2,000 people make accounts. Uh, there have been uh, close to 30,000 connections to multi-user frames. We've got a big update coming out in a few days with uh, our first version of avatars and a really nice new outdoor theater environment. In terms of the team working on Frame, we've got a, a core team of two within Verbella. We work with a crew of freelancers around the world, and we hope to add another core member to the team possibly as soon as next week. So. We, you know, overall, we're, we're kind of cultivating the expertise that will keep Verbella well positioned to take advantage of new developments that are coming to web browsers in the 2020s. Um, one of the traditional limitations of browsers is that they can't take advantage of a device's processor and computing power in the same way that a native app is able to. This is why you can't play some video games directly from a browser. Like You, you can't play Grand Theft Auto V from Chrome. Uh, they need to be installed one way or another. There is a new technology called WebAssembly that's picking up steam that actually does allow web browsers to run native code that takes full advantage of a device's capabilities. So this is going to open up really tremendous possibilities, both for Frame and for the core of Rebella product down the road. We're learning more about large-scale networking on the web so that we could eventually have large-scale multi-user interactions from the browser. And 
you know, this, this is really only one of many routes to this. The, the advent of 5G uh, means that highly detailed immersive experiences will be able to be rendered on some server somewhere in the cloud and then streamed to any device that has internet access. So overall, we're just making sure we stay up to date with, with all of the above technology so that we can be on top of it and not playing catch up in, in a few years. And, and Frame kind of gives us that testing ground to really rapidly prototype with some of this new stuff that we're, we're confident will eventually uh, trickle trickle to the core Verbella product and also might make Frame uh, a valuable product that has its own legs and can be monetized uh, on its own. So I, I do encourage you to check out Frame at framevr.io. Email me at gabe at framevr.io if you have any questions about it. We also do have a new workplace group for uh, Frame VR, so please uh, join that as well. Thank you, John and Alex, for, for giving me the time to, to ramble up here about Frame. <laughs> All right, that's great, Gabe. You know, when you uh, gave me the pitch uh, a little while ago, uh, you know, one of the very interesting things you showed me was how um, 360 photography really plays well with this technology mm -hmm. and, and how you could really, uh, you know, walk through a scene uh, and a scene that had been augmented by, you know, three-dimensional objects that you had put in the scene is, is very powerful. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the applications you're going to cook up. Cool. All right. Well, I think that does it for us, gang. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we've been able to give you a little taste of the things that we're trying to do to uh, support um, the growth of the business and uh, the success of the agent community. And uh, if certainly if you have any questions for any of the three of us, uh, don't hesitate to reach out on chat or an email or button all this in the halls of the convention center. Uh, be happy to talk. And uh, really, thanks for being here. I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us on, on Friday afternoon. Uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Uh, Jason Guessing, I think, is coming up here next to talk about agent healthcare. And uh, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Take hey, care, John. everyone. Hey, John. Yeah.